how can I help? Hi. Uh, so, uh, like I was saying that, you know, um, I'm starting my career again after a five years of break. And I'm at the point where uh, uh, I want to do something more in my career. And uh, uh, from the beginning, I've always been given instruction as to what to do. I've always been told what to do, and I'm really good at it. I, I, I really like uh, you know, taking the instructions, doing everything uh, that has to be done, and being successful at that. But I, I feel I've come to a point where I want to initiate uh, my own ideas and take risks and uh, do something uh, uh, you know, on my own without you know, somebody telling me what to do. So uh, you know, I, I'm looking for ideas on how to start to be somebody who can initiate uh, ideas. So let, let me ask you this. Yes. Let me ask you this. Okay. Do you have ideas? I do have ideas. I, I mean, it's all in my head. You know, mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, I'm, I'm so scared that I can't even talk to my own family members about it. It's all in my head. It's very clear in my head. So uh, it's just that, uh, you know, I've never tried that out. I've never talked about, talked about it. Even when I was a child, I've never done that. So, uh, so it kind of, uh, uh, it's, I feel like, you know, uh, I can never talk about it or I can never put it on paper or I can never share it. Uh, I, I feel like, you know, uh, it might not be a great idea or it might not be something that can be achieved or I don't know how to do it. Uh, uh, and and I'm, I have the fear of failing. So uh, yeah, I do have ideas in my head. Okay. Yeah. And is it what what is the and and it's okay if you don't have an answer for this right now mm -hmm. what is the root cause of that fear what is the root cause of that fear uh, i think it's my in, in you know it, it it stems from my childhood uh you know uh and don't share anything you don't want to uh, yeah sure yeah uh it's just that you know uh, we in india it's mostly like you know uh it's society based, right? So everybody has eyes on you. Everybody has opinions on you. So it's very difficult to, uh, you know, for my parents, it was very difficult to see us failing. They were very scared. So they wanted us to always succeed and they, they did everything. They did everything for us to be successful, but they did not prepare us to, you know, to, to even know what failure is. So, but now as an adult, uh, you know, I don't have those instructions. I don't have those, uh, 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 you know, that kind of protection around me. I have to make my own decisions. I have to make my own, uh, you know, I have to take steps. And uh, that kind of got into work as well. You know, uh, as long as I have a mentor, as long as I have my manager or my lead telling me what to do, I, I'm really good at it. When they say I'm really good at it, when I, when they don't tell me, and when I have to initiate, I am like, no, I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to take up uh, any such task at all. So, uh, you know, that that's kind of a challenge that I have. Uh, that's because I've never been allowed to fail. Have you ever been allowed to succeed? I think that was the only option. <laughs> <laughs> so when I did not succeed, I never accepted it. You know, I, maybe I've lied about it. I've uh, covered it up to my own self. Forget uh, others. To my own self, I've always like, you know, um, believed that, okay, that didn't happen, you know, or I never faced it. I, I, I either uh, came back from it, never uh, uh, saw through the whole thing and, uh, you know, so failure for me was always like, oh, it happened. Now I don't want to even think about it. And, and I would have, even if it, even if I was really interested in something and I did not succeed, I would have left it halfway. I never completed it. So, yeah. <laughs> so well, that's a good way to never fail. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But life, life is not like that, right? So you know, uh, the. 
last five years, uh, you know, we've seen so many things that happened, uh, you know, health wise and life in general, that I don't want to be scared anymore. It's okay. I, you know, it's okay for me to, uh, you know, not be successful. It, I want to learn from it. I want to take steps. I want to try new things and learn from it. Even if I feel it's okay, I, I, you know, I want to experience it. There are so many things that I have not tried because I feel like, you know, I might fail. Uh, talking to you now, right now, it's actually a big step for me. You know, I, uh, I the whole night I haven't step, slept. Uh, I kept telling my husband, you know, uh, how do I cancel this? How do I, you know, not get on this call? Uh, my husband is like, no, don't do that. Even if it is, you know, even if you can't put your thoughts and frame it into sentences, it's okay. Just listen to what he has to say. Now that you have scheduled, just go with it. And uh, yeah, so that it's that challenging for me, you know. My, um, you know, my husband, uh, he gives me this uh, space for me to kind of think and, uh, you know, uh, be myself in my house in my, in our home but apart from this when i step out i can't do that you know i'm really scared so yeah that's okay yeah i know yeah i i've come to that understanding that it's okay to do that you know it's okay to be that but uh, uh yeah i have to keep reminding that i, I have to keep telling that myself uh, that it's okay it's okay to be this it's okay to fail. It's okay to, you know, not be, uh, you know, 10 on 10 all the time. Yeah. You can't have courage without fear. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Let me, let me shift up because I, I think that reframing the problem mm. is one that you can latch on to. Mm -hmm. How do you define success? then everybody uh, starts to appreciate it. How do you measure that? Um, whoever is, you know, in, in, in who, who I think is in the, uh, in, has the power or who has uh, the, uh, uh, who makes the decision kind of turns back and said, hey, you did a good job. But yeah, uh, you know, uh, I've come to understand that, you know, it's how good I feel from within when I do something is more important than what other people, uh, uh, you know, perceive or what other people judge, uh, you know, your actions. So I've come to understand that, but, you know, that's why I kind of want to do things and, it, you know, initiate things that's in my head now, you know. Uh, because I, I feel that, you know, what I feel inside, how good I feel and how satisfied I feel is more important. And, and that's why I've come to this point and talking to you right now. <laughs> so along those lines, mm -hmm. I think you have some more digging to do on what success looks like. Right, right. Because there is, you know, the, the personality aspect of that. Mm -hmm. There's very much the personality aspect of how you feel mm -hmm. interacting with the world around you and how you gain your own success. Mm -hmm. And if it is a feeling of admiration or mm -hmm. acceptance or mm -hmm. approval, mm -hmm. identifying what that is and then framing your serotonin hits around that mm -hmm. to then start motivating yourself. Hey, I did that. So we have one of the things that you see with many sales teams is when they close a deal, they ring a bell. Okay. I have, um, there's a wonderful lady that I got to meet in San Diego at a conference a few weeks ago. <clears throat> um, she's out of Michigan and the pandemic has been very difficult for her mm -hmm. because she's very much fueled by the energy of others. And she hasn't had the interaction that she needs to be fueled by other people. Mm -hmm. So whenever she has a win, she play, she stops everything. Mm -hmm. 
and she plays the song happy and she gets up out of her chair and she dances to it <laughs> that's nice <laughs> and that for her feeds her need that she doesn't get from the situation that she's in right now mm. so i think I, th- I do think you have some more to explore there mm-hmm. and you know i think that you probably have you know a, a long journey but it will be filled with many amazing milestones. Thank you. I hope so. <laughs> it will. Um, there's, there's kind of a series or, or themes of books that I think you might enjoy reading. Okay. Um, one that is somewhat relevant right now, and I haven't read this for about 10 or 15 years, so it may be completely out of date. It may have aged poorly. I don't know. Okay. It's called... Hackers, uh, Heroes of the Computer Revolution. That's right. Okay. Um, Hackers, Heroes of the Computer Revolution. And it's about the men and women um, that were heavily a part of basically the phase of computers getting connected over DARPAnet and ARPANET. Mm -hmm. And this very small insular community of people and what they did and how they operated. And um the fact that there's there's one story in there in particular of a of a gentleman that when brilliant man mm-hmm. absolutely brilliant man mm-hmm. when he was in uh, i believe it was middle school and high school he would build physically build radios and predecessors to the the modern computer um and he would go through ideation design soldering and he would never turn them on because he was terrified that they might not work and if they didn't work that the fact that other people would reject his ability to do things oh. okay and he's one of the best in the world wow yeah i, I can relate to him <laughs> 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 there's um there's a few more um one that you you may enjoy uh is called over the edge of the world mm. and this is a fascinating book it comes from a different place in a different space mm. it's basically the consolidated notes of all of the sailors that went on magellan's fleet to circumnavigate the world mm. in search of spice Mm, okay interesting and the reason that i talk about that one is because it is going into the unknown Mm. always going into the unknown and the way it's written it's because it's from personal accounts of many different people people that they interacted with along the way Mm -hmm. Uh, magellan's notes the other you know lieutenants and captains on the ships nearby him the first mates all of them so you get to put yourself in this long form story in each of those characters shoes and think about how they would have stared into the abyss and made decisions on which way to go wow wow that's interesting <laughs> yeah i might get that book today <laughs> oh I, I i really i've really enjoyed that one um <clears throat> i personally love also polar expert ex- expedition books okay about 80% of them end in cannibalism. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, there's not a joyous end to most of these books, but <laughs> um, the decision-making, the, mm-hmm. the planning, the resourcing, the logistics, mm-hmm. again, going into unknown in periods of uncertainty and reacting to disasters mm-hmm. and understanding that if we do this correctly, mm-hmm. we can innovate and lead and make decisions and impact other people's lives for the better mm. in search of whatever the mission is. Right. Mm. So check out, there's, there's a ton of them. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. I Just will. skip the last, uh, skip the second to last chapter. That's always where they, <laughs> that, that's where it's like, we've, you know, something went terribly wrong. We learned a whole lot. Half of our team died. We got out alive. We had to eat the other people. And then, <laughs> and then the last chapter is where, you know, um, either explorers find their notes later, late, you know, a hundred years later, or 
um, you know, they get back to society and it's uh, the, what they found and how it's now implemented and what we've learned in our chain, literally changed our worldview because of it. Right. Mm. Um, take a look at those. Okay, I will. Because if people can do that, then that puts in you taking the next step into a very, it seems like such a small step. It puts it in perspective. Right, yeah, absolutely, yes. Yeah. It, makes, it makes small steps easy. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's always bigger in our head, right? You know, it's always like the fear is so big in our head that, you know, when you put it in perspective and you see, when you read and, see other experiences, it kind of puts you in perspective and makes it easier for us to, you know, get over that fear. Yes. It does. Yes. And again, how you define success is up to you. Right. It's up to you. So uh, I'll share another story. Mm -hmm. um, when I launched my company, mm -hmm. I went through, like many other founders, what's called the valley of death. Mm -hmm. The valley of death is an idea that when you start something, mm -hmm. you have some money. Mm -hmm. And then that money slowly goes down and down and down and down and down. And you're descending into the valley of death. Mm -hmm. And then you have to start coming out of that valley of death while you can recover. Right. You have to have income come in. There was a point when I was in that valley that literally it came down to, and I was speaking with my wife, we can't go to that restaurant tonight mm. because we cannot afford it. Mm. And while we were having that discussion, my first invoice was paid. Nice. The notification came through on my phone and I said, we can go to that restaurant tonight. Nice. <laughs> That's nice. I have failed and failed and failed and failed and failed and failed and failed again. And that's how you get to the mountaintop. And how cool that you say it so proudly, you know, I wish I can do that. And I want to do that. Yeah, you can. Yes. And you will. Yeah. Because you get to define success. Right. Yes. Yeah. And you will feel like a failure during that period. Mm -hmm. That one time. Mm -hmm. Out of many times. We cannot do that tonight. Because I have done everything that I can to make this thing succeed. And I think it failed. Mm -hmm. And then one notification. <laughs> and then eight months later, I sold my company. Yeah. So congratulations on your new job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I'm excited that we got to have this conversation because you got that job. Yes, absolutely. Yes. It would have been a very different conversation. Exactly. Yeah. It would have been a completely different conversation. I would be focused on, you know, how to kind of land that big opportunity. Now that I have, yes, I'm, I'm so glad uh, I, I did not skip on it or I did not cancel this. And I took that courage and just came here and made sure I kind of get your insight on how to get over this fear that I have. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. And it may not be getting over the fear. It may yes. be accepting the fear. Accepting the fear. That's right. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. When you, when you, when you so proudly said you failed and you failed and failed, I was like, I wish I can say that. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well, fear, fear is an interesting beast as well, because similar to pain, mm -hmm. if you make fear your friend mm -hmm. and you're living life on the edge, you'll never be lonely. Right. Yeah. It's not the way I recommend for everybody, but <laughs> when you start, when you get to the point and you notice it and you go, okay, you know what? I am afraid. Fine. And I will act in defiance of that fear and I will still continue to win.
because I define success. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that sounds so empowering. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, yes. I'm giving you right now permission to succeed <laughs> and to fail. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I have one more thing. Yes. Um, take some time, reflect on what we talked about because this is intimate things. Right. Um, what I would like to see next year, two years, three years from now, five years from now, mm -hmm. I would like you to invest this same level mm -hmm. into the three other people. Sure. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would love that. You know, I, I, I want to give back. Yeah. And, and that that's the whole motivation on being an initiator, you know, getting out that fear of being, uh, you know, failing and trying to do something. Yeah, I would love to do that. And I hope, uh, you know, I, I, I can be as effective as you are. Starts with talking to people. Yes. <laughs> and then eventually you get to know yourself. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you can do it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy Thank day. You. you too. Bye. Thank you so much.